Number 10, Goliath. It has small eyes, the head and fins covered with small black spots. The irregular dark and vertical balls present on the shire body. Its first dorsal fin shorter than and not separate from second dorsal. The adult goliath is huge and it can weigh up to 800 pounds. Goliaths are found near shore often around docks, in deep holes and on the ledges. Young often occur in estuaries, especially around oyster bars. These fish are more abundant in southern Florida than in northern waters. Goliaths spawn over summer months and have a lifespan of 30 to 50 years. They feed on crustaceans and fish. Number 9. Paraiba Paraiba is the largest catfish found in the Amazon basin which reaches up to a region of 3.6 meters in length. It can reach over 400 pounds and is also known as the freshwater shark. They are found in the Amazon and Oregano basins and the other tropical freshwater and brackish habitats in South America. Some species are migratory. These fish are important at food fish and to some extent aquarium fish. Interestingly, for such a large catfish, they are very athletic and readily venture into open running water. The Pyra eber has an elongated gray body and apart from the long whiskers, looks just like a shark. It often explores on the surface while hunting bayfish, but generally lives in deep holes and pools in slower running stretches of large rivers. Number 8. Bagarius or is another name is Indian Goon Catchfish. Bagarius species have the same general color pattern consisting of three darkly pigmented brands and blotches on the body. Irregularly placed spots may also be present on the body. Bagarius species have a broad head that is moderately and strongly dispread. The mouth is broad and terminal or slightly inferior. The juice openings are wide. The dorsal fin and pectoral fins have strong spines. Bagarius is one of the largest species of catfish in the world. It is slightly larger than the red-tailed catfish. The world record specimen was 6.6 feet long and weighed 230 pounds. It has long sharp teeth, which it used to inflict damage on its prey. These species inhabit South and Southeast Asia. They are distributed in Indra Trine in Pakistan and India, east to the Red River Rene in Vietnam and South Rao in China, including Malay Peninsula and Indonesia. Number 7. Barracuda. Barracuda is a large species of fish found in the warmer coastal region of the world's ocean where there is an abundance of food. There are more than 26 different species of barracuda that range in size from less than 20 inches to nearly 6 and 1 half feet in length. Although they can be found in the deep ocean, they prefer coastal habitats along the continental shelves and coral reefs. The barracuda is known to be an aggressive, dominant predator and often relies on the surprise tactic in order to catch its prey. Barracuders can swim over 25 miles per hour in short bursts. They do this to take over prey that may be trying to swim away. Because their bodies are long and slender, they can easily sneak through the reefs while hunting. Having the lower jaw just as slightly and unequally siphon like teeth has earned them the nickname Tiger of the Sea. They primarily feed on smaller fish such as snapper, grunts, myrtles, and bream. Number 6. Whales The whale catfish is one of the largest catfish in the world, the largest freshwater fish in Europe. Whales catfish have been known to grow up to 15 feet long and reach a size of 300 to 660 pounds, depending on the sore. They can live for decades, possibly as long as 80 years. Medieval reports claim it is an aggressive man-eater that will swallow people whole. Even small children were found in one stomach according to a legend. After new reports of fear of attacks in Berlin, Germany, Jeremy Wave dives deep into the mystery of this fish. He finds out that the giant attack when they are protecting their necks in the breeding season. His investigation
investigation later leads him to Spain, where a group of catfish were introduced into warm water Ryan Ebro. Numerous factors led to these creatures taking over the ecosystem and possibly growing to man-eating size. For example, because of the fishermen's catch and release policy, there Jeremy finds that these river monsters have no fear of man and faces a potential man-eater. Number 5. Stingray The body of Socktail Stingray is grey-brown or bluish-gray on the dorsal surface. There is a round of small, pale blue spots at the base of each pectoral fin. The ventral surface is white and the tail lacks any distinguishing marks. The largest of the rays, this can grow up to almost 7 feet across and 770 pounds. They are slightly diamond shaped, wider than they are long, with a stocky tail shorter than the length of their bodies as adults. Although they are slow moving in general, they can flap their pectoral fins fast enough to create a small soft wave in freedom. They usually have two stinging spines in their tails, but they are not aggressive and cause harm to humans only when startled or threatened. So, would they are dangerous to humans? The soft-tail stingray is often observed raising its tail similar to that of a scorpion when a brother dive. This behavior is considered to be inquisitive rather than aggressive. However, the barbed-tail spines can inflict severe or potentially fatal wounds, so care should be taken if this species is handled. Number 4 would be Muscolonge. The Muscolonge is a member of a pie family. These fishes are characterized by a long, cylindrical body with a soft dorsal fin, and it has a large, powerful jaws shaped like a dog's bill and armed with numerous fang-like teeth. Muscolonge are native only to North America. Muscolonge are abundant in many lakes and rivers over much of North America. However, the greatest concentrations are present in the waters of the Midwestern states. The Muscolonge eat suckers, minnows, perch, sunfishes, and other fish available in its habitat. Larger muscolonge have been known to attack and consume nearly any living animal, including small rodents, waterfowl, and muskrats. Indeed, muscolon is second only to lace sturgeon as the great lace largest fish. In videos have weighed in at more than 50 pounds and exceeded 5 feet in length. The average adult size is an impressive 28 to 48 inches long with a weight of 5 to 36 pounds. Number 3 is, is electric eel. The electric eel has an elongated, cylindrical body, typically growing to about 2 meters in length and 20 kg in weight. They have no scales. The mouth is square, poisoned at the end of the snout. The anal fin extends the length of the body to the tip of the tail. Electric eels are found in the water of South America and are capable of generating a 500 volt electric shock through 28 feet of still water. The shock that the electric eel produce is enough to harm any large mammal including humans. The electricity that the electric eels use to shock its prey is produced in pairs of organs that are found in the abdomen of the electric eels. These electric CD producing organs take up around 80% of the body of the electric eel, leaving only 20% of the electric eel's body free to hold the electric eel's vital organs that it needs to survive. Electric eels are found inhabiting fresh water of the Amazon and Orinoco River basins in South America, and the electric eel tend to prefer the river food plains, swamps, coastal plains, and creeks. Electric eels tend to live on muddy bottom in calm water and in stagnant arms of rivers, where it spends most of its time hunting. Alligator gar, the prehistoric relatives of this megaphys inhabited many parts of the world, but today gars live only in North and Central America. Of the seven known gar species, the alligator is the largest, reaching up to 10 feet 3 meters long and tipping up the scale at up to 300 pounds 140 kilograms. 
These menacing-looking behemoths are generally olive green or yellow and have a heavily scaled body, a tooth filled mouth and wide. Alligator lies now give the species its name. So is it dangerous to humans? Due to its large size and soft teeth, the alligator guard is capable of delivering a serious by goon to fishermen or swimmers. However, there is no documentation of attacks on men by alligator guards. The eggs are poisonous, causing illness is consumed by humans. Adult guards have few natural predators, although alligators have been known to attack them. Young are prey eaten by larger fish. Alligator guards prey on fish, but they are opportunistic and have been known to feed on everything from waterfowl and small turtles to carry. Number 1. Moon Shark Sharks are perhaps the most dangerous and fear of all fish, but these predators are confined to the oceans, or maybe not. The moon shark, the most dangerous and aggressive shark, has been known to swim miles up rivers. Biologist and fishing writer Jeremy Wade followed reports of attacks in river near the most populated shores of Australia to find out why and how far these fish swim upstream. He traced the trail of blood led by these monsters from bays and lagoon to rivers until he finally zeroed in on the lair of these sea monsters. After seeing the evidence that these predators can even attack race horses and trap people underwater in completely fresh water, he realized that he faces a creature even deadlier than a great white shark. While fishing for one, Jeremy finds something even more shocking and terrifying than a fully ground shark. He said, very often the attacks by fish on people are not just random. There are specific circumstances. For example, the snakehead is defending its young, and very often when people have the full picture of their fear can be turned down a bit. But the boon shark is opposite of that. There is something there needs to be more knowledge about. Boon sharks are large in style, with the female being larger than males. Adult female bull sharks average 2.4 meters long and typically weigh 130 kg, whereas the slightly smaller adult male average 2.25 meters long and 95 kg. 